Hi, welcome to beginning C++ with Unreal Engine 4, with me, Saxon Ra. If you'd like to know my real name, it's Rob. So, yeah, let's let's kind of get started here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the project browser. You, if you click this button, you may have options um, saying to launch the your last open project. If that happens, um, don't worry, we'll go over that in one second. So for me, it's going to open up my Unreal Project Browser. I'm going to choose the C++ template of the base code. I'm going to choose starter content, and I'm going to leave these as maximum in the console. You can change this however you'd like. So I have a specific folder I would like to build mine in, so you can change that here. You can click this little dot 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 button to browse for a specific folder. I'm going to name mine CPP Video. I'm going to click this green button down here and what it will do is it will create this CPP video project in this folder with these three settings with this template. So I'm going to create project and what it will do is it will create the project. It will create a bunch of files, source files, and it will um, generate the code and it will compile the code. Now you'll have two windows launch when this happens. You'll have a code editor, which in my case, since I'm running Windows, is a Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition, and you'll have, after it compiles, um, it will also include a, or it'll also open up the Unreal Engine 4 editor with our compiled project. And from there, we'll show you uh, how do you create a new project um, if you are in your old project first. So here it goes, it launched my Visual Studio and you can't see it, but there is a box here saying CPP Video Editor, and it's initializing the editor, and it's loading my project right now. I'm not sure why my broadcast software does not uh, detect some of these windows, but it's okay. Now that our editor has launched, now if you clicked on launch engine and it opened up like a previous project, what you'll do to create a new one is go to file, new project, this will open up your new project uh, browser. Again, CPP, basic code, choose your settings, name it, put it in the folder you want, create project. So now that it's all loaded up, what we're going to do first is we are going to compile just to make sure our IDE, our integrated development environment is properly working. I don't know if you heard it or not, but there was a pro, uh, compile complete sound effect that notified. Now there was, there will be a window down in this area that will say like compiling, and then it will say if it was completed or not. If it did not compile correctly, there is an error with your integrated development environment setup and you'll have to post in the answer hub to try and figure out why that's happening but once it's compiled and it's working what we're gonna do is we are going to do oh right what we're gonna do is we're just gonna alt tab over to our IDE now you'll notice that our project container solution file has two projects it has our engine and it has our actual project so let's not really get into too much what's in here but I will show you that in our source file folder rather we have a folder our project folder and two C sharp files 
if I open up the project folder, it's got four C++ files. There are two source files and two header files. The actual name of your project will be in a .h and a .cpp file. These two files are your project's entry point. This is how and what all of the code that we create are going to reference. So what we'll do is we will open back up our editor and we'll go file and we're going to add code to project. Now what this will do is it's going to ask us a parent class and what this is saying is hey I need a class or I don't need a class if you choose none but let's say you chose actor what this is saying that you are choosing this one of these classes as the parent class of the class that you are crea creating right now so I'm gonna choose actor I'm gonna click next I'm gonna name it my actor is fine um, it will automatically create the proper path for you and I'm gonna click create class it's going to add the code to project and it will hot reload the files <sighs> excuse me Excuse me. So um, it hot reloaded all the files. So if I go back into my integrated development environment, it, you see myactor.h and myactor.cpp. This is the header file, and this is the implementation or source file. We define various things like telling the compiler hey we want to set up a constructor we want to override something and we want to override something else and basically all of this code should probably look foreign to you and we'll kind of go over it line by line. So this first line is a comment. It's saying fill out your copyright notice in the description page of project settings if I were to go here to edit project settings I scroll down in the the description there's a legal copyright notice it says fill out the copyright notice in the description page of the project settings what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in here press control A and backspace it all and I'm gonna type in my name Saxon Ra and I'm gonna type in CPP video which is the name of the project um, just for consistency I'm gonna name it the proper name it wasn't capitalized at the PP so I will you don't have to do that but this is a good way to make sure all of the files that you create from this forward on will be denoted with your name and the project this is really helpful because it tells you what project it is in and who created the file so now that we have that we can just click X it will automatically save it now if I were to go in here and add a new code to project and I'm just gonna click um, I'll click pawn and it'll be called my pawn is fine it'll compile and it'll have reload the project Okay, so now that it's compiled and hot reloaded, you'll notice that we have a mypawn.h and a mypawn.cpp. Now, these two files and these two files are interesting because it what what this means is we have two classes that we have created from within the editor. Now let's say we did not want mypawn.cpp. We accidentally created that class. So I'll show you 
how to get rid of that. So what you're going to want to do is browse to your computer's project, and mine is in this folder, and what you're going to do is in the main project folder, so CPP video, for me, you will see a folder called source. We're going to double click in here and we're going to double click in the CPP video and you'll see that all, here's all of our files that are represented in our solution explorer over here. Now let's say we didn't actually want to create my pawn so we can just delete those two files and we're going to remove them and make them go to the recycling bin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the project folder which has your visual solution and your actual Unreal Engine project file we're gonna right click that and we're gonna generate Visual Studio project files now what this will do is it will generate some code and look at your project structure and it will modify everything now when I minimize this it's saying hey conflicting file modification detected it was saying that the solution was modified outside the environment and there are unsaved changes to my solution which are open up in the editor itself so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to discard them now when I discard them what's going to happen is my pawn.cpp and my pawn.h are both going to be removed from the project as you can see they were removed here and if I click into here I try to click them they just automatically disappear so that's a way to remove files that you may have accidentally created so let's actually get into the project itself.